Hello YouTube and welcome to Resonance Arcade. I'm going to do a review of indie game Downwell. It's a brand new game that's come out in the last few days and I got hold of it yesterday on Steam. Uh, so first of all, I mean, there's sim dead simple controls. It's left, right and shift. That's it, basically. Um, I'm sure you can use a control pad as well with it, although I haven't uh, tried it out with it. So as this, the website states, Downwell is a curious game about a young person falling down a well, battling enemies with his gun boots and collecting treasure, and sometimes visiting shops. It's a pretty accurate description. It is exactly what it says in the tin. Um, and I'm, I'm not entirely sure why you decided to jump down a well. I don't think there's any context there. Uh, or why, why there are enemies down a well. But you know what? It's a game. It doesn't matter. Uh, at its heart, it's a vertical schmuck with a dash of roguelike Metro, Metroidvania kind of in there. And uh, it, it doesn't really follow either of the genres um, or any of the the general you know kind of ideas about each of them. Um, but the enemies are very blatantly Metroid influenced. Um, as you can see, there's these Metroid protoplasm type things that I'm jumping on and shooting. Uh, and there's also that that thing there that looks like a zoomer from uh, from Metroid. There's frogs, there's bats, there's um, big eyeball things. I mean, obviously not all of them are uh, directly ripped from uh, Metroid or anything like that. Um, and there are also a couple of ch different types of shop things. Now, this one I've just entered here, uh, it's an upgrade shop. It's not necessarily something you, you, you buy things from. But I've just bought, a, sorry, I've just picked up a, a power upgrade for my gun boots. And it's a punch. It's pretty good, this one, actually. And I uh, said the, the sound effects are amazing in this game, and the, the, the music is astounding as well. It was uh, done by Eric Shirk who's also written for uh, Spelunky and Hotline Miami and a number of other indie games as well. It's energetic, it's pounding, it suits the game perfectly. It takes me right back to the, the NES days. Um, and the, the sounds as well, the actual sound effects for uh, you know for different weapons and for the upgrades, etc. They're very punchy, they're very satisfying. It feels good to play, you know. Um, so aesthetically, I mean, you can, as you can see, it's black and white mostly. Uh, bits of red, uh, the gems are red, the enemies have got red on them, uh, you've got red on you, and uh, there's, uh, it, 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 again it takes you very much back to kind of a NES or even, maybe even like a ZX Spectrum type style, because uh, the NES you know, had a, a better colour palette than this, but it still feels like a NES game to me, it feel, very much feels like a, uh, like a, you know, back to the 80s. Um, there are a few enemies, as you can see there, that, that are uh, bright red and you can't jump on them like I just did then. Jumped on that snail on the side and he uh, he took a, a health point off me, which takes me to the health points. Now you only have, you start off with four, uh, four hits, which is more than most games uh, of, this, of this type. And you can upgrade them and you can also increase your chances of, uh, of getting health. Normally you have to go in a shop to, to pick up some health. But there is an upgrade that I got uh, at one point, which means that corpses can give you uh, uh, health points and you eat them. It makes a satisfying kind of crunchy sound when you eat them. So the intention of the game is to collect gems and use those gems. If you look in the top right-hand corner, I've got 700 now. And they, uh, they can be used to buy upgrades, power-ups, etc. Um, but it's also very challenging. I just died there. And it's because it's a roguelike, I have to start right back at the beginning of the game uh, on level 1-1, but it's procedurally generated as well, so the levels are never the same. Um, I'm sure this is going to be one of those games that will have a, you know, a challenging leaderboard, etc. And if they if even influence a leaderboard on, on the game. But I can imagine some people really getting into it and really getting into, you know, how far you can get, how many gems you can get, how... Uh, I don't think there's a, an overall point system. Uh, there's also a, a, a feature called the, um, I can't remember the exact name of it, I'm sure it'll pop up in a minute, but it's a, a kind of gem overdrive mode. Uh, I'm getting close to it now, that bar at the top that says 80 at the moment is getting fuller and fuller. The more you do, it seems, the more close, but there you go, your gem high. And uh, that gives you, uh, I think you're a little bit faster and your guns are a little bit more powerful, etc. So yeah, um, overall I'm, I'm massively impressed by this game, it's, yeah, I've, I actually saw it a while back, I remember seeing the website, which again is, is pretty impressive in, its, uh, in itself. The website is, uh, let me just find it, www.downwellgame.com, 
then you can uh, you can nip on there and it's just a it's a again it's a vertical scrolling website but it's really quite quite clever and that's what made me keep an eye on this uh, so yeah I'm glad it's come out I'm glad it's there and uh, good job guys being published by Devolver Digital uh, the developer is Moppin Games which I think is just a one guy one man studio uh, obviously with a bit of help from, from the sound side etc uh, from a guy in Tokyo but yeah, thanks for watching everybody and uh, get down well. It's $1.99 on Steam, so you can't go wrong with that. Definitely not, especially if you like uh, any kind of Metroidvania or schmuck type game. It's very, diff very different from any of the game I've played, but it's, uh, it's very well done. Catch you later, guys. Bye-bye.